Welcome back to Honest Mechanic, the place where we simplify car mechanics. I'm Brian, and today we're tackling a common but puzzling issue many car owners face, engine misfires. So what exactly is a misfire? Picture this, your car's engine is like a finely tuned orchestra, with each part playing its role in perfect harmony. But when one or more of the cylinders doesn't play its part, failing to ignite the fuel-air mixture correctly, we call that a misfire. The effects? Your engine might start running unevenly, lose power, and even trigger that dreaded check engine light. Common signs to watch out for include rough idling, reduced fuel efficiency, and a noticeable loss of power. It's like having a drummer in your orchestra who keeps missing the beat. Now that we've unraveled the mystery of what a misfire is, let's dive into the possible causes. First up, let's talk about ignition system issues and fuel system problems. Now, your car's ignition system is a key player in making sure everything runs smoothly. If you've got faulty spark plugs or plug wires, or if there's an issue with the ignition coils or other components, it can prevent the proper sparking and combustion in one or more cylinders. This, my friends, can lead to a misfire. Now let's shift gears and talk about fuel system problems. These issues can be just as troublesome as ignition system issues. You see, if you have a clogged fuel injector, a failing fuel pump or contaminated fuel, it can cause a lean fuel condition. Essentially, your engine isn't getting the fuel it needs to run efficiently. And yes, you guessed it, this can also lead to misfires, but that's not all. There are more causes to consider. Next on our list are vacuum leaks, compression issues, and timing problems. Vacuum leaks can be a real pain. They let excess air sneak into the engine, leading to a lean fuel mixture. And you know what lean fuel mixture means? That's right, potential misfires. It's like trying to start a campfire with too much wind and not enough kindling. Now, let's talk about compression issues. Imagine trying to pop a balloon with a pinhole. It's not going to happen, right? That's what it's like when your cylinder compression is low. Worn rings, leaking valves, or a blown head gasket can all prevent the proper ignition and burn of the air fuel mixture, causing our old friend the misfire. And finally, timing problems. A stretched or jumped timing chain or belt can muck up valve timing, preventing the proper fuel burn and ignition. It's like trying to clap with one hand. Not very effective, is it? Still with me? Good, because we're not done yet. Last but not least, let's look at dirty fuel injectors and problems with the engine control module or sensors. Carbon deposits can build up on injectors over time, clogging them up and reducing the flow of fuel. This reduced fuel flow can lead to misfires as the engine can't get the amount of fuel it needs for proper combustion. Now let's shift gears and talk about the engine control module or ECM and sensor problems. The ECM relies on input data from various sensors like the crankshaft position sensor and camshaft sensor to control spark timing. If these sensors are faulty or the data they provide is incorrect, it can interfere with proper spark timing leading to misfires. So dirty injectors and ECM or sensor problems, while often overlooked, are vital to consider when diagnosing engine misfires. And there we have it, the common causes of car misfires.